This is step number one of a cityscape watercolor. We are going to start off with two color wash, which is actually two different color washes that meet each other in the middle of the painting surface. This creates an illusion of perspective in which more distant objects become lighter and less distinct and therefore useful in depicting a horizon line off of the distance where the sky meets the land. First, we need to make sure we apply enough water on the paper surface to make sure we can create wet on wet technique for this um, two-tone washes. We are going to create a sunrise time where I'm able to see sort of a little bit of red but a lot of yellow and blue in the sky. Starting at the bottom of your page, I'm going to load my brush with yellow color and I'm going to add more water as necessary to lighten the values as you make your way up the page, stroking evenly back and forth side to side along the surface until you reach the top of your paper. You should see a pretty nice gradation. Because your paper was wet, it's pretty easy to move around. Make sure you layer several times to ensure much better gradient coloring as well. Now I'm going to repeat the process. When the sunrise uh, happens, you are going to see a little bit of reddish tone. So I'm going to use red and place a gradient value on the bottom of that yellow. And go ahead and move your paint until you don't have any more pigment in your brush and go ahead and stroke it side to side all the way up to the paper. That's going to ensure really nice gradient paint. When you're happy with this gradient, now it is time for us to paint our blue. Turn your surface upside down and do the same thing with your blue. The two colors, both light values, when they meet in the middle of the painting surface, should subtly merge. If you determine that you want more distinct color or line where the two colors meet, you can do by uh, you can do the wash on a dry surface. But try to do it when your paper is wet because it's always easier to manage your watercolor when it's wet. Next, we are going to add clouds and for you to paint your clouds, you are going to need tissue papers and cotton balls if you have any or Q-tips. Now you want to work really fast to add clouds because we are creating negative spaces by picking up brushes. Um, so make sure you move on to next step right away. <laughs> 